I'm that bitch. Yeah. Been that bitch, still that bitch. Will forever be Hi that everyone, bitch. it's Ariel here and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a little chit chat get ready with me and I decided to do a super glam look because I know we're all bored. So I decided to help you guys out and film this look. I'm actually obsessed with how it turned out. And today I actually used my Deck of Scarlet subscription box and my number 17 edition palette to create this beautiful smoky navy eye. And I do want to give a quick thank Thank you to Deck of Scarlet for sponsoring today's video. You guys know I only work with brands that I know, love, and trust, and Deck of Scarlet is one of them. If you've been watching me for a while, you would probably know that I work with them on a regular basis. If you aren't aware, Deck of Scarlet is a makeup subscription service. Every other month, they collaborate with an artist in chief to curate a special kit like this. And throughout the past year, they've created a makeup line that you can get items from every single month. The subscription service is $29.95 a month. And if you don't like a specific month, you can always skip it. Another reason I love and support them is because their products are cruelty-free and paraben-free. They ship to the US, Canada, and UK. And yeah, I love all their makeup and it's super fun getting outside of my comfort zone and creating looks like this every time I receive my Deck of Scarlet subscription. So if you're interested, I will have a special offer for you guys down below for you to be able to sign up for your Deck of Scarlet subscription. I promise you will not regret it. But yeah, before we get started, with this tutorial be sure to give this video a big thumbs up because it helps me and my channel out a lot also be sure to comment below your thoughts on the look and just how you're feeling in general let's have a conversation in the comments and if you're not already subscribed and have my post notifications turned on please be sure to do so it is such a fun time around here and I would absolutely love it if you stuck around but yeah without further ado let's get into this makeup tutorial Okay guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started and first of all I want to apologize in advance if the lighting just changed from the intro or if the lighting changes throughout this video I'm filming right in front of my window. I have the camera on auto though So hopefully that helps and I also have my light here handy to put on top of my camera if anything Also, we're filming in a different spot I don't think I ever filmed like this when I lived here Which is weird because the light comes directly here, but as you can see a little bit my room has turn into a storage room slash another closet. There's just so much stuff in here and I didn't feel like moving the big clothing rack to film in the normal setup. But anyway, let's get started. So we have my deck of Scarlet. So as you can see, there's a lot of blue and cool tones in this edition number 17. We also have other products here that I'm going to use. So I put on my little blue tie-dye hoodie today to match the look and we're just going to go ahead and start creating. So I'm going to zoom you guys in. And first of all, just excuse my skin throughout this crazy stressful time you girls been going through the damn skin struggle lately so yeah I'm gonna be using the shade hazy which is a gray color and I'm gonna sweep this as my transition color and we're just gonna kind of go ahead and experiment I definitely want something blue and smoky and gradient with some of the shimmer shades as well so I'm just gonna go ahead and start blending also excuse my hair everything's a work in progress right now okay so yeah I actually love playing with cool tones and grays and I have it in a while so I was really excited when I saw that this month's subscription was cool tone so I'm concentrating this color circular motions in the crease and then I'm bringing the rest of it upwards to blend out and do the same exact thing on the other eye so yeah how have you guys been let me know in the comments I really can't believe that we begged for daylight savings to come to be trapped inside <laughs> and then recently as I'm sure you guys have all seen and heard that we're extended in this quarantine until April 30th. So yeah, I really hope that April 30th, that's it. I really have no idea when I'm going back to LA or anything of that sort. So super crazy, scary time. So now I'm going to take the shade Vibe and I'm going to concentrate this on the outer V. It's crazy with this lash lift. I'm like, is this what it's like to do makeup when you actually have lashes? And I'm sorry if this looks like an absolute wreck while I'm doing it. I have no idea what I'm doing. We're just going to try Trust the process, okay? It's gonna keep blending and adding color and hoping that at the end it looks good. It'd be like that sometimes. I didn't even put two and two together that my palette was blue and that I ordered a blue hoodie. And I love how the Duck of Scarlet shadows blend together. Honestly, they keep getting better and better and improving every time. Like every time I get a new subscription, I'm like, oh, okay, I see y'all. So yeah, when I do eyeshadow looks, and I actually, my friend texted me the other day and inspired me to do a 
complete like eye tutorial so I'm gonna do that soon because she asked me if I had like a tutorial on how I do my eyeshadow so shout out to my girl Olivia because I realized I never did a tutorial on that so I'm gonna do like my eyeshadow tips and tricks how I do eyeliner and just everything that has to do with eye makeup so I'm really excited I know I'm not really explaining what I'm doing give you a little sneak peek of that video I guess I always go in with circular motion buff and blend and I always go back into my brush with the transition color and do the same thing and oh my god I'm gonna scream because my phone's ringing or well vibrating right now because I made the worst mistake in the world so I saw an ad on Instagram to get like car insurance quotes so I decided to go ahead and do it because in a few months I have to register my car in California and get California insurance and like get off my parents and stuff so I put my phone number down not knowing that like 50 million insurance companies were gonna call me so that's what I've been dealing with so I've just kind of been trying to ignore it as much as possible and I'm going in with a clean fluffy brush to blend the outside make it look a little more smooth because honestly I've been really messy with it today but it's all good okay so anyway I'm gonna go back blending that a little later but I really want to get into this shade soul like look at that that's the coolest shade ever so i'm gonna go ahead and start sweeping this oh yes i love that it's like a silvery grayish blue it's like the perfect shade for this palette honestly so i'm starting to just mix that in and again like i said today i'm being really messy with it just gonna trust the process my quarantine nails look gross but i can really get in there. I'm also going to take this shade Breathe, which is a really pretty pigmented white silver. And this is going to go in the inner corner and like the inner third. So we're going to try and clean it up now. Just spray a brush. I'm just kind of going back and forth between the brush and my finger. Okay, so now I'm going to go back with my previous brushes to blend. And I'm going to accentuate the navy blue on the outer corner and blend it into the shimmer shade. So now, let's see. Oh, the eyeliner it came with is like this silvery color. So I'm gonna rub some of that onto the inner corner as well But I'm gonna create a nice sharp wing to go with this And then I'm gonna go in with a makeup wipe on my face and do lashes and all that fun stuff so I'm using my favorite roller liner by Benefit, but also I recently started using this Rimmel Scandal Eye Precision Micro Eyeliner, and it's unreal. This roller liner I've been using for I think like four to six months. It's insane. It's still lasting, but it's hard for me to get precise at the end uh, because it's running out a little bit. So I'm using this to do that, and it's unreal. Okay, so now I'm gonna move on to the face. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my moisturizer which is actually over there and I'm gonna prime with Benefit Pore Professional. So for foundation today I'm gonna use Dose of Colors foundation. This is in the shade 116 light medium. I actually gave this to my mom because it was too light for me in the summer but all this quarantine stuff you girl hasn't really seen sun so we gonna use this today. This actually might even be too dark right now because I got really tan last summer. Wow I love this look and you know it's real when you love it and you don't even have your fake lashes on yet like damn. So yeah I'm I'm using my dose of colors. I believe it's called the macro sponge. Let me go ahead and put my hair back a little. Sorry if I sound hella congested, guys. I don't have coronavirus. <laughs> You've been watching my vlogs. I've been sick for so long and it's been a struggle. I just have my lingering cough and my lingering congestion. My sleeping schedule, guys, has been terrible. Today I woke up. I set my alarm for like 1 p.m. So I've been going to sleep at like 4. And anyways, I ended ended up like getting physically out of bed at like four. What even is this? Quarantine has just got my sleeping schedule all types of messed up. But yeah, I was nervous because when I saw the time, I was like, oh no, like am I still gonna film? I'm really glad I am. The sun's still out. So I guess daylight savings is good for that much. But yeah, I decided to just force myself to get ready and film just to feel a little bit better because why push it off till tomorrow? I'm gonna take a pump of this foundation. Well, not a pump, but like a little dot on the back of my hand and I'm going to carve my eyebrows with this just so it matches. See this little like white spot? I don't want that. So yes, I love this foundation. Also, I just ordered a 
bunch of stuff from Fenty because I was bored and I haven't been spending money on eating out so I was like why not spoil myself I convinced myself that now was the perfect time to splurge because usually I have so many other expenses that it's just not possible so I got both the Fenty foundations in hopefully my correct shade this time and I got the powder the concealer so hopefully you guys will be seeing like, either an insta video of that something of that sort soon I want to get back on my insta video grind now that there's nothing to do but okay got this base flawless okay it actually matches whatever honestly at this point no one's gonna see me and I know y'all won't judge me so I'm gonna take my Tarte Shape Tape concealer I've been using the shade light medium crazy because I remember in high school I used to use the shade light sand and that is extremely light for me now like okay this is light sand I put my bedazzled brush on it I should probably change it out soon that's light sand compared to light media. I like using it for brightening, but I can't use it alone because girl, it'll make it look like so gray. It's just crazy, like living in LA versus New York, how this used to be my normal shade and my foundation shade too. Like what? This is one of my favorite parts. When I do the face after the eyes is putting this concealer on, cause girl, it shows you the true potential of the look. I love it. And I actually love that I was being kind of messy with it today. Cause sometimes when you're not focusing on being perfect, you actually end up liking the look a lot more than you would have but yeah we're gonna use my beloved Laura Mercier translucent powder the OG I'm excited to try the Fenty one when it gets here see what I mean the lighting keeps going in and out because the sun keeps going like in and out between the clouds and the trees so sorry about that the sun's for sure gonna set soon ever since I got my one light that I recently invested in it hasn't even mattered because that light I could use anytime and it'll look like golden hour it's insane I'm gonna have to do like a secrets video soon let you guys in on that light okay so just a light dust around the face i'm gonna do a layer of base blackening up the liner and then i'm gonna pick my lashes oh Whoa. I know these are my Acevedo Boutique lashes in the style Reina. It's so crazy with my lash lift. Okay, hold up. I think I'm gonna use these because they're already open. I'm gonna put some glue on them and let them sit and get tacky. Hopefully I can make them look good. It's gonna be a little bit of a struggle putting them underneath my lash lift. My lashes are so curly, kind of hard. This is my first time using the falsies with the lash lift. I think I'm also gonna have to put my light on the camera soon. Okay, so first I'm gonna put black liner on the waterline and the tight line. And I'm gonna coat a light coat of mascara on the top lashes first. So there is some eyeshadow on them. And then, okay, random steps, but I'm gonna go in with that light silver shade on the inner corner again. I don't think I'm gonna put it on the brow bone. And then I'm gonna take gray and navy and smoke it on the lower lash line, mimicking the same steps we did in the crease. I'm gonna take a little bit of this blue. It's actually like a highlighter, I believe, and it has a little shimmer, but I'm just gonna put that there. And last step before the lashes, they're probably already tacky, but doing the bottom lashes. Yo, that's crazy. I've never seen my real lashes touch the top of my lid like that with this dark of eyeshadow and that thick of a liner. Okay, we're gonna fix that later, but let me try and attempt to put these lashes on. Okay, whoa, hold up. I think that's good. My lips are so dry right now. I've been using, I found these in my room here. Pacifica Lip Balm. This one's in Cuban Mango. And I actually really like them. So I'm gonna let that sit on my lips while we finally do the face makeup. So I'm using, I've been using this ever since I got this in the winter time. The Too Faced Gingerbread Tan Spicy Bronzer. I love it. I love all the Too Faced bronzers. And I actually, I'm gonna quick finish my eyebrows before I forget. Because I tend to forget this stuff. I actually really like getting ready here sitting on my bed nice and cozy it's kind of relaxing rounds up the face okay I'm gonna put my regular blush and then I'm gonna put a little tiny bit of this one it's because I think my regular blush will look a little bit better with the look this one is actually a warm tone but it's also it's kind of neutral so I really like it and it's a mauve shade that one's kind of like a purpley so I'm gonna put this on see the difference so I'm gonna take another brush with this Let's see. I think I'm just gonna have to go for it. Okay, and that's it. Just made it a little more cool tone. Blend, blend, blend. So now I'm gonna take my powder blush, blend some more. And as cool as the shade looks, I'm not gonna use it today. So I want it to look 
a little more wearable. But one last step, I'm gonna take my Dose of Color Milk and Honey Highlight, my absolute favorite thing in the world. I'm gonna highlight my nose and then my cheekbone. Yes, insane. So beautiful. Yay. Okay, lastly, I'm gonna take my LA Girl Lip Pencil and Bear. And I'm not sure if you guys have seen, I did a How I Overline My Lips video. So I will link that for you guys. Today I'm gonna use Honey Love. Let's see. I've been really loving this super nude. Supposed to be matte, but my chapstick underneath is making it look a little creamy. Ah, uh, love! So I'm gonna keep that. I'm gonna use a little bit of Velvet Teddy on the outer corner. This month's Stick of Scarlet came with this beautiful... Ooh, it's a Shine On Lip Gloss. And this is like a cool tone purple color. And this is beautiful. It definitely goes with the blush. But since we are so heavily eye-focused today, I wanted it to be a little bit toned down. Ah! So glad I got ready today. I feel like myself. So let's see what the light looks like. Oh, this light is just bam. So I'm gonna adjust the settings just a little bit so it's not like as dark. So bam, we are done with the look. I'm feeling like myself. This is my first time getting ready in I think another week. Like literally I just get ready once a week now. But yeah, I'm obsessed with this look and I hope you guys are too. Be sure to let me know your thoughts down below. I hope you guys enjoyed chatting with me and seeing me create this look. Also, be sure to check out Deco Scarlet down below before you leave and sign up for your subscription. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all so, so much, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, everyone.